Hello everybody, my name's Corey and I'm with the Ugly Bug Fly Shop and Crazy Rainbow Fly Fishing. And today I'm going to be tying you a streamer that I've been tying here in the last uh, six or so months and using pretty exclusively here on the North Platte with uh, great success. So I wanted to go ahead and tie you this for you guys. And yeah, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our fire hole 811 size 6 3x long heavy wire barbless streamer hook um, we're gonna go ahead and get that guy in place I'm going to go ahead and lay down a thread base with some 140 ultra thread in brown so go ahead and lay us down a nice thread base here all right gonna go ahead and take my dragon tail now this is mangum's dragon tail this is in tan I wanted to show you guys I had already cut a piece off of this I know I'm, you're gonna be wasting a lot but um, we waste a lot of materials and fly tying anyways went ahead and stripped the outside of it off to reveal the core for my tying point and I went ahead and I burned the tip of this to keep it from unraveling I like to tie the core of this in rather than the entire uh, tail because I believe it gives me a little bit more movement um, and I've had people ask questions about fouling you know when you keep it short like this it actually doesn't foul that much so I have definitely not run into a lot of problems with that so next on our list here we're going to go ahead, I'm going to use UV Polar Chenille in medium right here. Great stuff. I'm going to kind of pull the UV fibers away from the core. Pinch them. I'm just going to tie this core right in here. Really lock this stuff down. Alright. I'm going to bring my thread up to about the halfway point. Now this is our rear section of this fly, of this streamer. So we're going to knock this one out quick. I'm going to put a couple of wraps right on top of each other, right in the back here. While I'm pulling my fibers back. Now once I get a couple of wraps right on top of each other, I should go one in front of the other. Making sure I'm pulling these guys back so I'm not trapping them. Just going to keep her moving forward here. Couple, couple right on top of each other at the front. And I'm going to lock it right down. Alrighty. Locking thread wraps in there. I'm going to cut it. Set that guy aside. And I'm going to actually take some wraps further back. Just like that. Okay. That'll force those fibers backwards. Alright. Next material that we are going to use is this inch and a half semi-chromatic brush by Enrico Puglisi. Um, great material. Comes in so many different widths and colors and stuff that um, it's kind of endless. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut there's a metal core in here. I'm going to actually cut it so only about a quarter inch or so is sticking out. I'm going to tie that right in here. There we go. couple more wraps back, forcing it backwards and bring my thread all the way up to the front of the hook we're going to go ahead and throw some wraps here. This stuff's really important that we brush it back as we go forward just like that and I'm going to lay these one on top of the other here just moving it forward not being stingy I want a lot of this on there. This is really what gives this streamer its body. Then once I get up to the front, I'm going to throw a couple more wraps in here. Add a little bit of bulk. And we're going to lock this down and tie it off. There we go. is throw some good wraps in here and then I'm going to get my whip finisher lock it down mm 
and then I'm going to go ahead and use my Loon UV here glue my threads and this is the flow really like the flow the thread seems to really just absorb it really well and then we're gonna bake it for a second there it goes my UV light's been temperamental to say the least here there it is alright perfect so that's the rear section of our fly of our streamer go and pull this guy out then we got our other hook ready to go right here our 811 size 6 fire hole stick and go and tie lock that thing in I'm going to take a piece of 30 pound heavy duty Dacron backing I'm going to fish it right through the eye of the hook sometimes it helps to wet it down there we go right through there perfect just like that set that down for a second we're going to lay a nice thread base on our hook here alright alrighty do 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 and then I'm going to bring this guy up here now the real nice thing about this Stonfo is there's actually in the middle of the jaws there's a little slit so that thing sits nice and in there and before I get too carried away here I'm gonna go ahead and add, add a hairline dubbin 3D bead I like the look of these 3D beads and I think they work really really well for adding articulation articulated stuff I'm going to go ahead and just lock these down with a couple of wraps. And then that allows me to be able to grab my Dacron and pull this where I need it. Now I give myself a pretty good little space in there with that bead. Give it enough movement to move around. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Kind of lock it down. A couple of spots. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to take my, my Dacron and I'm going to go through the eye of the hook with each one of these. Sometimes it helps to wet it down there. Kind of helps get it through the eye of the hook. I'm going to get those both through the eye of the hook, fold them backwards, and wrap right up close to the eye here. Really lock this stuff in there to cut this Dacron. Ugh stuff is pretty tough stuff my nice rising scissors do not like to cut it we're going to kind of put a nice couple of thread bases in here thread wraps palmer it forward and palmer it back <clears throat> really lock this dacron backing down and that's not going to go anywhere that thing's going to be pretty solid fish this a lot and uh, never had one come apart so now we're gonna do the same thing with the UV polar chenille for the front here of this for the start um, however I'm going to use the regular size UV polar chenille instead of the medium for up here just because I want a little bit of length just tie this in nice and healthy here I'm gonna go back just a little further and then rest my thread about the halfway point. I'm going to go ahead and throw some nice wraps of this in here, kind of right on top of each other. All right. Lock it down. Nice locking wraps in there. Let's trim this sucker off. Now, just like the back section, I like to pull this back, kind of put some wraps on top of it. Not only does that really lock it down, but it forces all that UV stuff back. Grab another piece of our 
or the leftover piece of our inch and a half sinew chromatic brush here. We're going to trim, trim off just that, so about a quarter inch is sticking out. We're going to go ahead and tie this right in here. Really lock it down. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit, just like that. And then I, this would be a great time to get your eyes tied in here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get my, these are hairlines of balls eyes in large. Um, really like these eyes, use them for a couple other streamer patterns that I tie up. And first I'm just going to kind of go crisscross here. And then I'll show you guys a little trick. I like to put my eyes on the bottom of my sh hook shank. And what I do is I go over the top of the hook shank, under the barbell part of the eyes, back up top, over the shank of the hook, under the barbell eyes. And I do that about 10 to 12 times, making them pretty tight. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and just really lock these suckers in here, just like this. Really make these tight. And what that's going to do is really lock those eyes down. I mean, they're going to barely move. I'm still going to go ahead and use some of my UV. Really just get that UV in there. And then another thing I like to do is do a couple more crisscross wraps. Forces that the UV to be soaked into the threads. And then I'll go ahead and hit it with my loom light here. Just bake it pretty good. Sit back and enjoy the fly tying room scenery. All right, here we go. And go ahead and do the exact same thing that we did for the back. We're gonna kind of fold this backwards here. And just go run on top of the other. They're not being stingy. Even put a couple just right on top of each other at the beginning. Just keep pulling it backwards. Lay it down. I'm just going to really get after it here. I'm going to put a couple right behind the eyes, and then I'm going to crisscross these eyes a few times as I'm pulling this back. Okay, come in front here. Put one right up there, and then we're going to go ahead and lock this right down. Pull this out of the way as much as you can. Lock and wraps. Cut it. Yeah, look at that. Such a great looking streamer. A couple of wraps there and a whip finish. Yeah, perfect. More than enough room to get some 10 or 12 pound Maxima through there with a perfection loop. And then another thing I really like to do on this fly guys, on the streamer, is I like to kind of pull these back. And after I get it pulled back, I like to take the rest and I like to trim all these, I call these whiskers off here. Just kind of give them a nice little trim, taper it, clear them out of our way. And then I like to take my UV glue, my flow still, I like to soak this up here. Just dab it, let it really soak it up. And then once it's really soaked up, take our light and I'm going to barely release it and just let it cook it. It's going to force this brush backwards, kind of give it a nice little head on this guy. Just like that. Yeah, perfect. And I'll come back in here and do it one more time. Give everything a good soak. Hit it again. Perfect. Just like that. And 
and then give her one last trim. Just through there. All right, and there she is. Great pattern here on the plat, nice and slim. Fishes really, really well, casts really, really well. Um, it's fun to swing this thing around too and some hydraulics. Um, fish seem to kind of come out of nowhere to grab it. So appreciate you guys following along with me here. Um, expect more of these fly tying videos to come your way. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that we have here at the shop or any of our fly fishing trips here on the North Platte, feel free to get on www.crazyrainbow.net. Also, uh, give the fly shop a call at 307-234-6905 for any questions you guys might have. Also, don't forget to uh, tune in with me every Tuesday on Facebook Live on the Ugly Bug Fly Shop's Facebook page at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. So once again, appreciate it, and uh, hope you guys have a, a great winter of tying, and we will uh, see you shortly.